So guys, I am back with another Elden Ring video and today people, I bring you 5 of the various weapons in the game for you collectors out there who are like me and wanna acquire every weapon in the game. These are 5 of the rare weapons in this game in regards to scarce enemies, rare drop rates and so forth. Today we get into it all. How's it going guys? My name's DPG and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more out of the ring, be sure to subscribe. So expect a couple of these videos over the next week or so, a showcasing sets of rare weapons. Today we have five and let's get into it. Okay, so we're going to start with the Clean Rot Spear and the Halo Scythe. These two weapons basically drop from the same set of enemies within the same area. But firstly, the Clean Rot Spear. So this ultra rare spear, which scales with strength, dexterity and faith, uh, required stats are 16 in strength, 16 in dexterity and 14 in that faith. It has a weapon skill called Sacred Phalanx, which is absolutely amazing. And it drops from the clean right knights near the heart of Ionia right here on the map. Now there are about 7 or 8 of these clean rot knights right here in this area but only 3 or 4 actually drop this weapon. The other drop the halo scythe which we'll get into in a second. So the clean rot spear it has a drop rate of a 1% at a 100 discovery. Now the route I take to farm this you will see on the screen now. You can kill 3 of these enemies in about 30 seconds and then just reset at that nearby grace. Now you can use any grace around this area area but I use this one right here, the heart of the Ionia grace. This is a grace which is in the spot of when you kill Commander O'Neill within this area. Okay, so the Halo Scythe, another weapon which you can get from the other enemies within this area, the other clean knights in this area. This is a weapon, it's kind of given away by the knights that wield it, same with the spear. And this one also scales with that strength, dexterity and faith. Stats required are 13 in strength, 16 in de dexterity and 15 in faith. It has a weapon skill called Ring of Light. So again, from any grace point within this area, again I use the Heart of Ionia. Follow the path to farm these dudes as I take on screen now. This one has a slightly better drop rate of a 2% at a 100 discovery. Okay, so next up guys, we have the Long Haft Axe. So this is a weapon which has a 2% drop rate at a 100 discovery and scales with strength and dexterity. Required stats are 24 in strength and 8 in dexterity. So this weapon allows you to slot in an Ash of War, making it real customizable. And this is a weapon which drops from a few misbegotten's found around the map. The farm I used, which was kind of efficient, is from the grace point of behind the castle within the castle morn down south on the map follow the short path i take on screen now you'll see one enemy here simply take him out then go back or literally load back that grace point and rinse and repeat the process guys but yeah this is how you get the long half axe a quite rare weapon one i barely see anyone talking about proper customizable too so yeah take advantage of this Okay, so next up people we have the gross messer so this is a weapon which again is super rare 
because there's only a couple of enemies within the map that again that actually have this thing. As far as I'm aware, probably two or three. Now this is the curve sword that itself scales with strength and dexterity. Stats required a 14 in strength and 12 in that dexterity. The weapon also allows you to apply an actual ward to it. So this is a weapon that drops from skeletons that wield the weapon itself. There's a few of these skeletons found in the tombs or catacombs, which I'll show you the location to in a quick second. The skeletons that may drop this uh, gross massa don't use a bow or a shield, so keep an eye out for them and they're easily recognised by their rolling move. Now the tombs or catacombs you can see right here on the map. Quite an easy one to locate and you can do this early on. What I do guys is I run to the first grace, as you can see this happening on screen now. Let's run towards, towards this room, you may need the stone sword key to open this if I do remember correctly. If not, ignore what I just said. But once you are in here guys, there's an enemy in the far corner which can drop this weapon. There are two skeletons in here, but only one can drop this weapon. So kill him, take them out and go back to the grace and rinse and repeat guys, it really is that simple. Okay, so lastly today we have the Beastman's Curve Sword. So this is a Curve Sword that drops from the Azula Beastman. It has a 2% drop rate at 100 Discovery. It also allows you to apply an Asher Ward to it, so it is customizable as well. It scales with Strength and Dexterity, and stats required are 13 in Strength and 11 in Dexterity. So this is a weapon that drops from enemies near the very first sight of grace within a Dragon Temple. Now it's probably the easier one to farm once you get to the area, but it's definitely the most end game weapon featured today. So from the crumbling site of grace, follow this short path and kill these enemies. I believe there's six or seven here, all having a chance of dropping this weapon. It's actually not as long to farm due to the amount of enemies here, so you shouldn't have any issues getting this thing. I think I had two drop in about 10 minutes, which is pretty cool. Remember guys as well, Use what you can for all farms today in regards to boosting that discovery. The silver tier mask is great for that. And also the silver scarab talisman. I would say using the silver pickled foot would help. But as soon as you low back to a grace, unless you're running back and forth to a grace, they actually won't work because you lose that buff if you fast travel back to a grace. So keep that in mind. But there we have it guys, five amazing rare weapons you need to get. On that note, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more out of the ring, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, my beautiful people, I will see you on that next one.